video, we're going to take a look at starting a base rover RTK survey using a here position at the base. Now, this is a situation where you don't have control on the job and you're going to set a control point, put the base on the control point, go ahead and do this here position to get an autonomous for the base. And normally you're going to use this with a survey style that's set up for RTK and logging so you can get the base position post-processed after the survey. Now, if you don't know how to set up a survey style for RTK and logging, I have left a link in the uh, description below. So to go ahead and start the survey, once we have that survey style set up, I've got my job set up in state plane coordinate system. I'll go to the menu at the top left, choose measure, choose RTK and logging, and click start base receiver. Once the software connects up to the receiver via Bluetooth, Remember, I don't have a control point on this, so I'm not going to type in a known point number. What I'm going to do is tap the black arrow to the right of point name and choose key in. Give my uh, point number whatever, or my point whatever number I want. Give it a code and then hit the here button down at the bottom. Okay, and that's going to grab an autonomous position of where the base is sitting. Then I can store that. Make sure my antenna height is correct. Make sure my measure two is correct and go ahead and hit start at the bottom right. Okay, so a couple of things you wanna check before you walk away from the base. Um, look and make sure the light for data logging is, is on and make sure your radio light is flashing. And then for the rover, it's just like you would start any normal uh, survey when you're doing RTK. So I'll tap the menu at the top left, go to measure, choose RTK and logging again, and go to measure points. And the software will automatically switch over to the rover. And once it connects up via Bluetooth, we'll make sure that we have the radio icon pulsing at the top of the screen, make sure our base station index is correct and reliability is 100%. Then tap accept down at the bottom right, and the rover survey will start up. Waiting for information from the base. Okay, and then I can just go ahead and start taking shots. Once my precision's re reach the desired level up at the top, I got a green check. I'll put in a point number and just start taking my topo shots. Now, the base is on an autonomous position, but these rover shots are going to be um, tied to the base. So when we update and relative to the base, so when we update the base position later on with a post process solution, it will put the rover positions in the correct spot. All right, so I'm just go ahead and take a few ground shots. Observation stored. And then when I'm done with the survey, I can go back to the menu at the top, go to measure, and end the rover survey there. I can power down the rover, that's fine. If I'm done with it, hit yes. And then I wanna go back over to the base station Hit the menu, measure RTK and logging, and hit NGNSS base survey. So the software will go ahead and connect back up to the base station. And this time at the base, I don't want to power it down because I like to go ahead and download the raw data file to the uh, data collector while I still have the receiver on. That way I've got it backed up. I don't have to do it when I get back to the office, so I'll say no. And with the uh, data collector right there at the base receiver, I'll go up to the menu at the top, go to instrument, and go to receiver files. And then tell it to import from receiver. And this is gonna show me my file that I did for the day. You'll have the date and the time on there. So if you got a lot of them in there, you can choose the correct one. And you will want to delete these after a while. If you start getting too many built in, um, you don't want to fill the receiver up because it'll stop logging. So just go ahead and delete them every now and then once you know you've used them. But I'll select that and tell the software to import, then hit the start button. And it'll go ahead and copy that file over my data collector. And then back in the office, I can send that I can convert that TO4 file over Rhinex and send it to Opus, or I can just send that TO4 file to the CenterPoint RTX service and get an updated position for the base.